Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is part two of the differentiation of power functions. We are now going to deal with some questions that a little bit complex, but as we are always doing, we are making mathematics or additional mathematics easier for all of you. Okay, so if you are going to take a look at what I have written here, I have written here two rules additional to the first rule that I've given for from the part one. Okay, so what is basically are these two rules? This rule is saying that the derivative of a function wherein the function has an attached constant value k, okay, is equivalent to the derivative of the function multiplied to the k. Just like, for example, okay, I'll make a first example over here, d over dx of 5x squared, okay, it will just become 5, then d over dx or derivative of x squared. So basically, what happened there is I brought out the 5 and then I'll get the derivative of the function x squared. Okay, next, how about the second, how about the second rule? The second rule is what you call the sum or difference rule in derivative. It's just basically, if you have the derivative of a first function added or subtracted to a second function, so there are basically two functions over here, okay? If you add or subtract those two functions, and you'll get the derivative of that, then it will be basically, you just separate them and copy whatever is the operation, if it is addition or subtraction. Okay? So, that is, that is basically what we are going to do. Example here, I have written an example. Differentiate 2x to the power of 5 minus 3x squared plus 1 over 2x cubed plus 5 over square root of x in terms of x. <coughs> One thing that you need to know is that make everything numerators before you employ this. Because you, you take a look at this one, it's always on the numerator. So, I'll basically write this as d over dx of what? 2x power of 5 minus 3x squared plus 2x cubed, uh, 1 over 2x cubed. That x cubed, I'll bring it up. So it will become 1 half. I'll bring it up x to the power of negative 3. Okay? Remember, I have recalled a law of uh, a law of index or law of indices last time 1 over a power of n is equal to a power of negative n okay this one is x square root of x is x to the power of one half so i'll bring it up it will become plus 5x to the power of negative one half so basically this is the derivative that we are trying to, or the derivative of this function, we are trying to differentiate. Okay? So, what will happen now? It will now become equals to, okay, 2, or let's employ this so that you don't get confused. Let's do it step by step. D, I'll bring out 2, D over DX, of x power of 5. Okay? I'll employ this since it's minus. I'll put minus. I'll bring out 3. Okay? Then, d over dx of x power of 2. 
then plus 1 half then d over dx of x power of negative 3. Next is plus 5 then d over dx of x power of negative 1 half. There. So if you notice, I have employed the first rule wherein I brought out the 2, the 3, or negative 3, the 1 half, the 5. From the derivative of each function, there. Next, this one now, you can apply whatever the rule, the first rule says. Okay? This 5, the index of that 5 will be multiplied to 2. So, 5 times 2 is 10. Then, the 5, remember it's n minus 1. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. So, it will become x power of 4. Then, 10 times x power of 4. Next, this 2 is the index. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Remember, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, x power of 1. Do I need to write? No need. Because x power of, power of 1 is basically x. Plus, or no, it will not become plus anymore because negative 3 times 1 half is negative 3 over 2. Okay? Then, it will become x to the power of negative 4. Okay? Next. Negative 1 half times 5 is negative 5 over 2. Then, x to the power of negative 3 over 2. Okay? It's as easy as that. This will be already your answer. Okay? If you want to make it a little bit uh, pleasing to the eye, I can bring down x to the power of negative 4, it will become 3 over 2x to the power of 4. And then I can bring down x to the power of negative 3 over 2, it will become negative 5 over 2 square root of x to the power of 3. Okay? I'll give you another example. Let's erase this one. Now, if you notice, I have here another problem. Okay, it says differentiate 3x plus 2 times 2x minus 1 in terms of x. Okay, so the rules a while ago cannot be employed with this one if we don't expand this expression. Okay, so, basically, what we are going to do is to expand it first. Okay, let's expand. So, this will become equivalent to d over dx of what? It is 3x times 2x is, 3x times 2x is basically 6x squared. Okay, 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x 2 times 2x is 4x 4x times negative 3x is uh, 4x minus 3x is x so plus x then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 okay so this is the derivative or this is the function that we are differentiating okay so basically it will just become Okay, it will just become 6d over dx of x squared plus d over dx of x minus d over dx of 2. Okay, thus it will become 2 times 6 is 12x. This is 1 times 1 is 1 x power of 0 is 1, so it will just become 12x plus 1. 
So basically, this one, negative d over dx of 2, is 0, 0 times negative is 0. Okay? So, differentiating this one will, will give you 12x plus 1. Okay, let's go to number 2. It says, find the gradient of the curve y is equal to this expression. Okay? So, the function that we are, or the curve that we are getting is this, basically. Okay? At the point, negative 1, 3. One thing that you need to remember is that if I am given a curve, Okay, let's say I'll have, okay, if I am given a curve, okay, the, uh, the gradient of the curve at a certain point, for example, it says negative 1, so let's say this is negative 1, okay, will be defined by the line that is tangent on that point. The line, a line that is tangent on that point. Okay, so whatever is the whatever is the gradient of this, will be the gradient of the curve at a certain point. So what is that point? It's negative one three. Okay, but we are just going to consider the x value. Okay, so. How do we look for the gradient of the curve? Okay, We look for the gradient of the curve by getting the dy over dx. And remember, dy over dx is always the differentiation of whatever is that function. Okay, And you know already the differentiation of 3x plus 2 times 2x minus 1 is your answer in number 1, which is 12x plus 1. Okay? What will you do with the dx, uh, dy over dx? Okay? Let's move to the solution. I said the gradient of this line is always dy over dx of the curve. And the dy over dx of that one is 12x plus 1. What will you do so that you can get the gradient of that curve at point negative 1, 3? What is the value of the x at that point? It is negative 1, 3. Therefore, okay, it is equivalent now to 12. Since the x value is negative 1, then I'll substitute this with negative 1, then plus 1. 1. What is now the value? It is 12 times negative 1 is negative 12 plus 1 is negative 11. Okay? So the gradient now, the gradient the gradient of the curve at point negative 1, 3 is negative 11. So it's as easy as that. I hope you have learned something in watching this video. Thank you and God bless us all. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that bell button to be updated with our new videos.